Hello and welcome to the vlog of all vlogs. Today I'm going on a varsity ski trip. It's the Oxford and Cambridge ski trip. It's going to be really fun. Will's coming as well. None of the other usual crew are coming, but we're going to make new friends on the trip, is the plan. We're going by coach, so we are waiting at a coach stop in Cambridge, ready to get on the coach that's going to take us to the Alps. It's the Alps, yeah. The French Alps. Oh. It'll be really good. I've never skied before, so it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really fun for me as well. <laughs> Will skied before, but like, I feel like you're not going to be that good. Oh! Will's going to laugh at me. Well, I'm not going to be that good. Anyway. I mean, it's probably true. But... Let the coach journey begin. I didn't get much sleep for the first few hours of the coach journey because they were playing really loud party music on the coach. Like I get it was supposed to be a fun trip, woo, but also it was just past midnight, it was past my bedtime. At about 4am we got the ferry over to France and we continued driving through the night until the sun rose the next day and the journey continued. So we're in France. <laughs> Here we're at some sort of service station. We stopped off in like a cafe for breakfast. I've well and truly lost my voice, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> Here's the coach behind me. <laughs> there's lots of coaches, there's loads of coaches going at the same time because there's like so many students on this trip. At about 8 pm, we arrived in resort finally, and I was so excited. Okay, guys, so the next drop off is up around the corner here, but you've got to bring the supermarket here. Look, you've got Care 4. All right, French supermarket. And just as we go around the corner here, on the right hand side, you can have the frog and roast beef. And the highest pub in Europe. And here's the chalet I was staying in. I shared a room with seven friends who all are at Jesus College as well. This was the very spacious communal area. And here was my room. Complete with an ensuite bathroom, what's not to like. And for dinner, we all ate pasta, which had been kindly prepared for us when we arrived by a friend who'd got there earlier in the day. And here is the view off our balcony. It's very dark, you can't see much, but all very exciting. Wow, look outside. It's snowing. Oh my god, that's a ski lift. Welcome to the accommodation in Val Toron, if that's how it's pronounced. I'm really excited because I've got my first ski lesson today and I'm just about to go pick up my equipment. And here we see the dodgy camera work of a page who was very, very excited about the amount of snow. More snow than she'd ever seen in her life. <laughs> and this was the shop where I hired my ski equipment. Okay, so I've just collected my equipment. My helmet is here. My snow boots are those white ones over there. And my skis are down in a locker at the moment. I'm just cracking out the snow bites since there's so much snow and it's so exciting. Now I've got a dilemma now because my lesson actually isn't until two o'clock and it's like, it's not even 10 o'clock now. Actually, there's only four hours. I'm just debating whether to just go out now with everyone else and like, just, you know, muddle my way through, try not to fall too much and then go to the lesson or wait and then go to the lesson. I feel like I should wait and then go to the lesson. That is a sensible thing to do. And I know my parents would say, Paige, wait till your first lesson. Maybe I'm gonna have a wander around and get my bearings in our little lodge area. Okay, so everyone else has gone out skiing this morning. I don't have my first lesson until later. So yeah, I've got the chalet to myself now, which is great. I just finished editing and uploaded my video. So that's all good and done. Look outside behind me. Is that gonna focus? Just look. Look how much snow. Just, it's, whoa, it's amazing. And like, you should have seen how much it was snowing just now. Everyone's complaining, like going, oh, there's not much snow. Apparently the snowfall's not as good as like, it could be and there's like a lot of run shut. But to be honest, it doesn't actually matter for me because I'm just learning. The time is quarter past 11 and I want to leave, for, oh my God, I've only got an hour and a bit. An hour and a half, maybe. I want to leave for my lesson in an hour and a half to make sure I get there on time. So I've got to get a shuttle bus and figure out my skis and all that. So until then, I think 
I want to go out and have a wander anyway, get my bearings, maybe pop to the shops if I have time. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm now all wrapped up. I'm gonna go out for a wander. I've got about an hour before I need to be heading off skiing, so I'm gonna go have an explore. Got my map. Oh my god, I just can't take it seriously. I'm so beyond excited. Like, it's actually a real life winter wonderland. It's just beautiful. Oh, I'm just walking along grinning to myself. It's amazing. Later that day, I waited for a shuttle down to the meet point for ski lessons. Made it back after my little venture. Bumped into a friend down in the town, so I had a bit of a catch up. And now I've got my skis. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know which way the skis even go on. I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully I can find the meet point for the lesson and the instructor can take it from there. For the first afternoon, I spent most of my time trying not to fall over and very little time vlogging. Here you can see the blur of the bar where Apre Ski was held. Okay, so I've just completed my first day of skiing. It was really good fun actually, much harder than I anticipated. I found the chairlift actually terrifying, like I wanted to get my camera out to film it because it was pretty but also I kept looking down and feeling really really sick and like, I was just really worried that the bar was going to fail and I didn't realise I had a fear of heights until today so the chairlift wasn't, yeah I do. I found Why did you come skiing? In the highest no, mountain range. I'd ski down the slope though and I'd look back behind me and I'd be like wow that was really steep, I actually skied down that. But um. Yeah, I feel like we went quite fast today for a beginner class. Like I've been, I've done the green run today, and I've mastered snow plow. I reckon so. It's been a good day. Hello. So I'm out on the slopes again this morning. I've been out for a couple of hours. Um, did quite an impressive run actually. I thought bigger than I'd ever done before. There was loads of powdery snow. Managed to make it down. Had a few tumbles, and I'm gonna head back in a moment to drop a layer off. Have a quick bite to eat before my lesson this afternoon. But I'm hoping. I'm really going to impress my instructor this afternoon. The other update is I still hate ski lifts. Like the chairlifts make me feel so sick. Like I have such a fear of heights I didn't even know I had. Speaking of chairlifts, now I think I was being a little bit overly dramatic. Like they're not that scary. I was just gripping onto the bar for dear life for the whole ride. Look at that excellent snowplow technique. And welcome to the nursery slopes. fun though, like I've literally caught the skiing bug, it's so much fun. So I'm currently down at the Ronde Paul de Piste or something like that. It's the round point basically. Over behind me is where people meet for lessons, which is where I'll be later. The nursery slopes are just over there and I've just come down the slope behind me there. Proud of myself. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful. Here was my first time in an enclosed gondola lift. It was much better than the open chair lifts, in my opinion. It's been a little while since I've updated you. I've been very busy skiing, as you might imagine. So I thought, while I'm sitting here, with not much to do, I'm waiting for a shuttle because I'm too scared to ski down the blue run that drops me close to my accommodation. So I have to get the shuttle back. And I stopped off at the sports center to buy a swimming costume because I'm gonna to go to the spa at some point this week. And there's a jacuzzi and a swimming pool. So that's exciting. But while I wait for the shuttle, I thought I'd update you on what's been going on. So, I've now had three days of lessons. I've done three days of skiing or thereabouts. Um, yesterday, I mean, I was slowly gaining control. I was kind of getting a bit more confident on the greens, did a lot of green runs. And then last thing yesterday, I took a really bad tumble and I was very, very bruised. And it was on a blue run. Um, Will convinced me I'd be fine on it. 
Um, I wasn't fine on it. I ended up walking down most of the way. Uh, the bit I did though, um, ended up in a tumble that was very painful. Just bruising, luckily though. So then I went out first thing today, but then I'd lost all my confidence from like this tumble yesterday evening. Like my legs just turned to jelly and I was just, just had no confidence at all. And then like pretty much as soon as I got onto the like nursery slopes, I started feeling really, really ill. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been that well this week. I haven't been 100% since term ended. I've obviously lost my voice, had a sore throat, just had a bit of a headache, just been in general not feeling great. This morning it just really hit me. I just really, really didn't feel well. I've been aching all over still from skiing yesterday. I think I might have overdid it a bit yesterday. I went, I was out for hours yesterday. So in the end, I headed back from the nursery slopes this morning um, back to my accommodation and had a bit of a lie down because I wanted to be okay for my lesson this afternoon because like if you miss a lesson you're gonna get behind although a lot of people are missing lessons like first day like everyone turned up second day a few less people third day there were three people in my class today <laughs> anyway after my lie down like I felt much better and I was just feeling oh and on the way down to my lesson I managed to like take a big tumble again proper face planted the snow that knocked my confidence a lot oh I think the shuttle might be here but no so my lesson today my instructor's a bit crazy there's only three of us the other two are really advanced beginners though one sec the shuttle's coming okay I'm now on the shuttle I'm quite a frequent user of the shuttle it's quite handy to get around resort anyway the other two who I was with in the lesson today are both quite advanced beginners like one of them has snowboarded before and the other has had I think they have quite advanced friends they've been going out on a lot of um, more advanced slopes already so I was like I'm really sorry about holding back today guys anyway the instructor was just taking us on blue run after blue run after blue run and I was like I already started like two days ago and I'm already doing all these blue runs and like they're absolutely terrifying like I'm such a nervous skier if you heard any shrieks on the slopes it was me I just kept screaming but I feel like I've come on quite a way today, so I'm really pleased with myself. And yeah, now on my way back after my lesson, I've just bought a swimming costume so I can go to the spa, possibly this evening or tomorrow. And yeah, I'm quite looking forward to just relaxing. But I've taken far less tumbles today, which is great as well, because it's actually quite painful and you keep getting bruised. Anyway, I'm gonna try and not miss my stop, but that's the update. The next day I was back out on the slopes and suddenly had a lot more confidence. The weather was beautiful as well. I actually got quite professional here and did the thing where you crouch down to gain speed. To reach the bar where Apres Ski was held, you had to ski down quite a steep slope and yes, it was still causing me problems at this point in the week. Let's not judge, okay? We all go at our own pace. Join me as I survey the slope, see where I want to be and build myself up to skiing down it. She starts to move off. Look at that control. Look at that technique. The focus is just impressive. She goes in for another turn. She glides along gracefully. Uh-oh, we've lost a ski. Ah, uh, she seems to have fallen over. On, on purpose, of course. I made it to Apres Ski in the end though, guys. I know you were all worried. Hello, so this evening I am in the chalet. I last spoke to you yesterday, I've had another day of skiing today. I moved the lesson groups. When I got to the lesson, I was like to the instructor, I don't think I can do a really hard blue today. Like I really can't. And the instructor was like, well, we're gonna go to the top of the mountain and do the hard blues. And I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm gonna need to move group. So, you know, I said farewell to my good friends from my old class. It was quite sad actually having to leave them and then went to a new class who were going at a much slower pace. Like, I basically redid what I did yesterday, but I feel much more confident. Will bumped into me on the slopes, and 
Like, I think I was looking quite good at that point, if I do say so myself. Like, I wasn't falling over. I had complete control of my uh, speed. <laughs> y y y she, she's not lying. She did, she didn't fall over. She did have complete control of her speed. That is true. That little speed she had, she had control of. <laughs> I go quite slowly, I found. Although my top speed today was... Not what 38... It Probably wasn't. Kilometers per Probably hour, wasn't. according to the app. I was going quite fast though, on the straight that goes up to the, you know that straight where you can pick up real speed? Which I, I one? I picked up real speed there. Which one? Oh, and I did on a blue run as well. Which I picked one? up real speed. I don't really remember. Anyway, basically what we've been doing every evening is different people staying in the room, have been cooking for everyone else in the room. Me and Will made chicken fajitas earlier in the week and they went quite well. But yeah, we're all getting a meal this evening. Should be tasty. Feeling quite hungry. Yeah, it's been a good day on the slopes today. This was what we had for dinner that evening. And we also played a long game of poker after eating. This was the walk we did every day to get down to the slopes. I'm convinced I've gained arm muscle from this week. The skis were so heavy. As you can see, it was snowing a lot on this day. But the sun eventually came out and the views from the chairlift that day were beautiful. Hello and welcome to another episode of Paige's Epic Fails. Warning, first tumble incoming. Yay, I love falling over. I dusted myself off and got back to it and thought to myself, do you know what would be fun? Falling over some more. So coming up, my personal favourite, the snow face plant. What a time that was. I'd had enough after that and decided to walk down the rest of the way. Stupid skis. A group of us went out for dinner that evening at a local restaurant and I tried raclette for the first time. It was so good. I love it. After dinner, we all headed to the final night party. I had a really fun night and Rudimental were playing as well, so that was pretty cool. I was still out bright and early on the Friday morning for my last day of skiing. Here is the carpet lift that, yes, I did manage to fall off on my first day. It was very embarrassing, but I've come a long way since then. Hello, so, one sec, let me take my goggles off. It's the end of the week and I'm just leaving the slopes for the last time. I've actually had such a great first time skiing experience. Definitely want to come back soon. And yeah, I'm gonna head back now. My ankle's hurting from excessive snow plow over the course of this week. So I decided no more skiing this afternoon, even though my coach home isn't until this evening. Yeah, I'm gonna shuttle back now to my accommodation, start tidying it up because it's a bit of a mess and it's supposed to be all cleaned when we leave. So should probably get started on that need to return my equipment. It makes me really sad I'm going home, but I'm gonna miss all these views. Like, look behind me. The mountains, the snow, insane. I, it's like exceeded my expectations. Like I imagined it pretty cool, but like just actually seeing it, being on the ski lifts and like looking around and seeing like all the snow, just amazing. Somehow I've managed to make it through the week without injuring myself. Don't quite know how I've done that, but well done me. That's not to say I'm not bruised. I have got bruises all over me but it's fine because I've had fun <laughs> and yeah and so here I am heading back to Chalet 4 if anyone's interested we stayed in Le Balcon would highly recommend and then it was time for the long journey home here we have beautiful British weather on the white cliffs of Dover 
thank you for joining me for my first ever skiing experience. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for weekly videos. Bye!